And on Father's Day, 23 people were shot and one person was killed at a Juneteenth celebration in Willowbrook, Illinois. Law enforcement has not yet identified a suspect or a motive, but preliminary reports have indicated there were multiple guns and multiple shooters. In two weeks, Highland Park, Illinois, will recognize the one-year anniversary of a shooting at its July 4th parade that killed seven people and wounded 48 others, and in that case, the parade route was lined with armed police officers. So here's what we know. Having lots of guns around, whether at a parade, a Juneteenth party, a temple, or a school, does not make anyone safer. It just makes it more likely that yet another family is going to get a call to come down and identify yet another bullet-ridden corpse. And yet my colleagues on the other side of the aisle continue to walk through this chamber with AR-15 lapel pins, proudly announcing their service as foot soldiers in the NRA's war on the living. I don't want a moment of silence. I don't want thoughts. I don't want prayers. They are all far too quiet and they don't do a damn thing. I need you to be brave. I need you to be loud. I need you to stand up and act like saving lives matters. I yield back.